Hi friends, MD Vegan. Oatmeal smoothie. Oatmeal, that's a really power breakfast. It's classic. I mean, I don't know any breakfast that's older. <laughs> I mean, that's so nice. Um, but I make a raw version, a live version. I have the raw oat groats. And they should be stored in the fridge in a sealed container, otherwise they turn bitter pretty soon. So after, right after getting them, make sure that's the earliest date uh, on the package. I put them in the fridge and then they take, a, they take fresh a little bit longer, especially with the oats. The other cereals are different because I guess there's some, some, a little bit more water in the growths. Um, but then, um, when you have the oatmeal, you see it's a little bit slimy. A little bit um, that is very delicious. That's the thing we want. I guess that's from the protein in there. That's um, not like gluten. It's uh, different from gluten. It's similar, similar structure, but it's called. Um, it's a different name. I don't know the name now. But it's also um, similar, but not the same. It's not for gluten allergic people. Usually not a problem. But when you buy the oats, there can be uh, parts of other cereals in the oats that from the from the from the uh, production from the process of making and storing it, uh, harvesting and storing it, the, the products get a little bit confused sometimes and then it can happen that there's also gluten in the oats. So if you want to have, make sure there's no gluten in the oats, you have to um, look on the package and look for uh, especially gluten-free oats. Um, usually oats itself has no gluten. So, um, but the protein, gluten is a protein and it's pretty, pretty healthy, so like all proteins, from that, not from, not from animals, from plants, from proteins are healthy, very important. Um, and that, I guess, makes it a nice slimy, yeah, together with the, I don't know what it, what especially it is, but I guess that it is, it makes it slimy, and it's a nice effect, and I can get the same effect if I blend it together with a little bit of banana. You have some bananas, yeah, to make it creamy, yeah. And yeah. normally I have to cook my oatmeal, to get this effect, but with a banana blending the raw oats, the same effect. And I have to add some nuts. Uh, different nuts I have tried so far. Uh, macadamia nuts have a very special uh, for uh, the gluten for the oats for the oats. I don't know why, but I guess it is also due to the flavor of the macadamia nuts. They have a Gentle flavor, but it is, has a strong character as opposed to cashews. Uh, walnuts, on the other hand, I would say have a complex flavor, very a little bit bitter in there. There's a very specific character in the walnuts. I don't know if it works with oats. Uh, I'm not sure, but the macadamia are perfect as compared to other nuts I tried. So macadamia is same amount oats and macadamia, so we have high protein and uh, also a little bit more fat from the nuts. It's a very strong breakfast, that means, yeah, high energy. And the banana adds also a little bit of sugar and the creaminess. So that's what I want to do now. And I want to have a real oatmeal, I want to have a smoothie, an like oatmeal smoothie. So I put water in. Uh, well, first I begin with, a, yeah, I just cover the fruits, uh, the, the nuts and the seeds here in the, in the container. And um, maybe I can add something, a little bit water later. And let's first blender dance and then see. Nice. 
Wow. Maybe I add more banana. Let's see. Just put one more banana in. It might be nicer. Uh, yeah. One more. Oh, two more. Let's see. Four bananas though. So I have a handful of oats, a handful of handful of um, macadamias, <coughs> and four bananas. You can see the size is uh, medium, small size of bananas. I guess it would be nicer for the for the for the creaminess. <laughs> the name that is um, similar to gluten but it is not gluten this is they're not gluten and the, the, um, as I said before uh, the gluten intolerance is usually not um, the same as the evident so you can eat the oats with a gluten intolerance anyway but better make sure if there is nothing really nothing in the in the oats yeah yeah that's good and the same thing that makes the oats so powerful, oats so powerful, the evening, also makes uh, the flavor a little bit more, yeah, let's say, uh, strong. So if you don't treat it right, then it gets a little bitter, or gets the picking, and makes some, some scratching in the throat, um, and that can be avoided if you wisely combine it in the right quantities, as you see, I took some more bananas in the beginning, uh, where I had only half of the bananas in there, there was still a little bit of um, aggressivity, uh, aggression in the in the in the smoothie, in the flavor, in the filling. That's not 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 there anymore. Now I can enjoy my oat um, oatmeal smoothie, and it's really delicious, and um, it's so um, becoming. Yeah, you see the texture, very nice. It's creamy, like a smoothie should be. I can drink it. I can spoon it. Of course, the liquid uh, food, yeah, when it's with high uh, nutrient content, it should be eaten um, slowly, uh, carefully, uh, also to make sure in the mouth you also produce saliva, uh, that is a pre-digestion we call that. Usually you bite the food, then the saliva comes and it's pre-digested, and then the second part of the digestion in the, in the stomach and then further down everywhere to absorption. And it begins already in the mouth, so that's why the liquid uh, food should be um, kept in the mouth a little bit longer than, eat, than just gulping it down. <laughs> but and that's small things, I mean, as you like, uh, what kind of feeling you have, or if you're in a hurry, I wouldn't stress that so much, but just a little, give you a little idea. Many people, many people sometimes talk about the smoothies and juices being not healthy. I consider that a whole complete nonsense. <laughs> Sorry to be so clear. If you know how to enjoy it really good in a good way, then you can have all the plants food on the planet and enough nothing will harm you if you are healthy. <laughs> so I'm um, very easy at that. Yeah, to me it's important to be really um, realistic and science-based in my health information. So very uh, careful when I say something is unhealthy. And I really have to have best science, uh, best, best science resources to back that. I would never say something is unhealthy without being really sure about it. And, um, well, I guess it's important to keep the negative part of the thinking, the negative, that means something is unhealthy, is very negative, that should be really backed by science and negative thinking should anyway be reduced to the absolute minimum, if not at all, avoid it, if possible. Yeah. So always keep it positive, that's not just an esoteric belief, that is really based on logic. Yeah. If you have questions regarding that, I will freely answer that if I can, and we have a conversation about that. We'll be glad to do that. Otherwise, um, it's a practical, just a practical, simple thing, and um, very helpful uh, to to be and um, positive and keep enough positive. I very helpful from the projects, everything you do. And yeah, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed and can take something from it. If you like, give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe MB Vegan on YouTube and have another recipe every single day. You can also push the bell button, then you have a notification, you get an email. Whenever a recipe comes out, you get an email. And um, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Hope to see you soon.